Hi. Today we're going to make a little pendant. So simple. Out of earthenware clay. I'm going to take a little pinch and I always take my clay and roll it around a few times, a few rotations, just to bring in all those bumpy sharp edges. And then I tend to pat and smooth and pat and smooth until I get the shape I want. If it's too thin, it's going to be more fragile and likely to chip. If it's a little thicker, it feels, you feel the weight of it and it looks uh, more appealing and it's stronger. So I'm going to just make it a little elongated cube like that. And what I tend to do then is I line out with my needle tool the image that I want um, shown. So I'm just going to do a simple cross and bring that down. And then to make that really pop, then I texture the entire surrounding with the needle tool. Just so simple. The idea of this being, or making this more successful is um, applying the tool to the clay so gently. It's so easy to actually cut into the clay and all I'm doing is laying the tool up against it and just pressing in a tiny, tiny bit, not causing any deep, really sharp lines. Just so simple. There we go. And then this way, as thick as it is, I could have the cord, the necklace cord, go all the way through if I wanted to and put the hole all the way through, or I could choose to put the hole in through the middle. Either way. I'm just going to take my tool, put it in there and wiggle it around a little bit because the hole will shrink. Clay always shrinks in the firing process. And if the clay is shrinking, so does the hole, and you want to be able to get a jump ring through there. There, I'll show you another one too. Again, I'll roll around and around, and just getting those bumpy edges in. And I'll keep this one rounded. Smooth that a little bit to erase that line. So again, I've got a nice chunky pendant, not so thin that it's going to break, not so thick and heavy that it would be uncomfortable. And then I'm going to draw a line outlining what I want to show. Just going to draw that nice and slightly. There we go. And now I'll use my tool, my needle tool, to texture the background and make the image pop. Again, just applying a little bit of pressure to create a clean line, not a cut.
And if I, if you go too far, like I did right here, I'm just going to redefine that edge and then retexture. Go about it a little more slowly this time so I don't overdo it. There we go. Making sure that that texture comes right up to the image everywhere so the image really pops nicely, kind of comes up off the surface a little bit. And then again, because it's thick enough, I could go all the way through to let my necklace cord come through this way so it would hang nice and flat. And again, either way, it would hang nice and flat because this one, you would apply a jump ring. Okay, you see that? And this one, we would just stretch that hole going in from either side to really make sure that it's not going to shrink shut. And then you'd be able to slide your necklace cord through. There. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.